This kind of has a little bit of the pucker mouth going on. Hey, what's up you guys? Shardimus Prime here, doing another Star Wars action figure review on the 6-inch Black Series San Diego Comic Con 2016 exclusive Sergeant Jin Erso from Rogue One, a Star Wars story. Now this is a San Diego Comic Con exclusive slash early release figure, letting us know that we're going to get a retail version of Jin Erso, so it's going to be the same exact thing from my understanding, except for some of the things that come with the packaging and whatnot, uh, just so that I could wait a long time to to finally review it, you know what I mean? It, I wanted to review this a long time ago. But anyway, we get this slip cover over here on the side. There's a read up. If you want to read it, go ahead and pause it now. On the back, you can see it says Jin Erso. It says it includes some parts and everything and four photo cards, which I'll show off. And then on the side, it says Jin Erso. You get the wraparound image right there. Not much at the top or the bottom. Slip this off and it reveals the figure right over there. Looking very cool. And then on the side, not much going on. And then here's the cards that are stored in that little sleeve. And then we get that medallion cover again. All right, let's get to it and crack this thing open. And here's Sergeant Jin Urso out of the packaging, and I like this figure a lot, man. The sculpted details on this just through and through are spectacular. Tons of little details throughout. I love that type of stuff. Really good paint apps, even though there are some paint splotches here and there. There are some QC issues, so I do have my complaints. But I really do like the figure. It's very beautiful looking, right? It does have that Felicity Jones look to her. I don't think it's dead on, but we'll a closer look in a minute, but first let's take a look at the accessories. So we have Hasbro getting a little crazy with the ACBA now, huh? Look at that, huh? Huh, Hasbro? Where did you get these ideas from? I mean, I know that ACBA community isn't the first to do this, but it's definitely been popularized over the most recent years, right? But these are very good looking shots, so, you know, I like these trading cards. Uh, what's kind of funny about them is that they all say fantasy scene at the very bottom of them, which kind of makes me think dirty things, because if I were to, you know, have some fantasy scenes, they would not look like this. Then here's a look at her blaster very nice I like the black and silver right here pretty cool design reminds me of Han Solo's blaster a little bit right over there right not too shabby looking I dig it and it fits into her right hand very well she has a trigger finger all ready for it so that's very cool come on get in there so that's nice and she also has a holster and it does stay closed with this little peg right in there so you just pull that out then you can just go ahead and slip this in right over here and then just put this right back in and that stays nice. I like that. And so you can shake it and it won't just come out. Uh, no, no, still. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Yeah. Passes the shake test. She also has this little hood thing going on right here. Hood and scarf, which I like. It has some nice paint on it. So it's a very subtle black wash over this gray. It's very, very tricky to pick up over here, but it looks really good. I really like the sculpted wrinkles in here and everything. And it's made out of a pretty soft material. So that's pretty cool. I dig this. And you just put it right over her head like so. I mean, I'm not going to keep her displayed like this, but, you know, I think it's pretty cool that she has it. You know, she definitely looks like this in the trailer at one point, right? So while I don't think this looks spot on Felicity Jones, I do think it's a fairly pretty face sculpt. Uh, the only thing is that I wish that we had some color variation in the flesh tone as the nose seems to disappear into her face, right? It's a very, very tiny little nose right over there. I do like the pink paint for her mouth, though. I think that's pretty nice. The eyes look very good. I don't like that left eyebrow. That looks just off. It looks like a mistake. It should be shifted over to the right a little bit more, I think. I really like the hair, though. The hair looks very good. This nice black mixed in with the brown. I'm always a big fan of that. A little knot right over there. So that's pretty sweet. And again, like I had said earlier, I love all the sculpted details in this. A little paint splotch right over there. But looking at the rest of this, it just looks fantastic, man. I love this little texturing that we get. We get this little ribbed you know, mustard yellow color going on through the side. Her vest looks really good. Those death sticks, I don't know. Oh man. Then we get this little gunmetal color strip right over here. Little nice details, man. I'm really liking it a lot. Looking at the paint around her neck right there, I don't like that you can see a bunch of little fleshy colors right there. I wish that was a bit cleaner. Cannot wait to see the movie. Very excited for it. I love what Disney's doing with the Star Wars franchise. I'm very happy so far. But anyway, yeah, the strap right over here. Nice texture detail. Same thing with her pants. That looks very nice, man. I'm really happy with this. To so brighten things up, you can see some of these details a little better, right? There's the holster and the gun again, her blaster. She definitely has a very flat butt. Uh, I just have to throw that out there. I mean, that is just like, that's like negative butt, really, because you have the hips over here, and then it just sinks in right there, right? So, yeah, negative butt cheeks. 
And then the wrinkles over here on the legs look very good. Really like this a lot with the little lines sculpted in right there. Little touches of gray. A lot of different colors on this. I'm very happy about that. Even the buckles on the boots right over here look really good. I'm really digging this. The little flat pieces. She does have the peg holes underneath her feet. Now the biggest QC issue with this figure for me is this leg right over here. I'm going to get into that articulation in a minute. But this second joint won't bend in. And I feel like I'm going to break something. I don't want to keep... Or maybe I should... For oh, I'm forcing it. Oh man, I'm going to break it on camera or something. So it looks like there's extra plastic in here. Or they didn't sculpt down this groove enough. Like this leg right here bends all the way in just fine at that second knee joint, but this one won't. So maybe I need to cut something up right there. But I don't really want to do that because even the hinge joint is textured ever so nicely. So I don't know what to do. Now looking at the articulation, you can get her head looking all the way up, which is very cool. I like that. And then we can get her head moving all the way downward. Now she does have side to side movement, but I am bothered by the fact that when you turn her head sideways, she can't turn her head sideways without looking up into the side. And that bothers me a lot. So if we had a neck joint in there that would swivel that would prevent that, so that's quite irksome for me. Now she has shoulder joints that move all the way outward. You can move them down that far. It's not too bad. You can rotate them forward. Now she has a single jointed elbow. Come on, Hasbro. Give us back the double jointed elbows, man. Now you get rotation over here. And then on the left hand, you get the swivel with the hinge up and down. On the right hand, you get the swivel with the roll of the dice motion right over here because that's your blaster holding hand. She has a good diaphragm joint that turns side to side. She can crunch forward just a little bit, and she crunches back only a little bit as well and she has some good pivot right there at the diaphragm she has some good hip joints that move outward that far she can kick forward this much even with the strap and everything for that gun holster so that's pretty cool and she does move back a little bit she has an upper thigh cut she has a double jointed knees well she's supposed to have the double jointed knees wait it no, it was this side right here. Yeah, so you can see the double joints moving on the side. That works right there. Then she has this cool rotation right here at the boot, as well as having the ankle that doesn't move up more than that. It moves down, and she does have ankle pivot. Here's Jin Ursa with her widest stance possible, with both feet still flat on the floor. And measure out Jin Ursa, you can see that she is standing right at five and a half inches tall. Then to compare it to another Star Wars female lead, here she is next to Rey. I don't know if Daisy Ridley is actually taller than Felicity Jones, but yep, this figure is definitely taller than the Jin figure. And then here's Jin Erso next to a classic Stormtrooper, so we should expect to see her shooting down a bunch of these guys in the new movie. And then here she is next to the Marvel Legends Big Time Letdown Spider-Man. Then here's the figure once again, but with the hood and scarf. And you can get the head moving left and right, even though she does have this hoodie on here. I guess maybe that's one reason why it looks up and to the left and right, because they knew that the scarf piece would be there. I don't know. But you know, it's a good figure. I really like it. I really appreciate the details in this, and I'm really looking forward to the Rogue One movie. I cannot wait. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit the like button. If you feel so inclined to do so, please leave a comment down below. Let the world know what you think. Make sure you hit that subscribe button for more Shardimus Prime videos coming your way. And make sure you check out ShardimusPrime.net for music and tunes over there. And you can follow me on the Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. I'll catch you guys later. Peace. Posing action figures. I'm posing action figures. I'm posing action figures every day. I'm posing action figures. Standing just a little... Oh.